uh, kung gano'ng anong amount ng rainfall ang magkukos na ng flood. Yun po, um, ang inisip namin doon, dapat alam nung lokal. Kasi you're the one there. So you can go back doon sa data. Uh, pwede nyong malaman, halimbawa, nung nagkaroon ng flood, ano ba yung bumagsak na rainfall? Para the next time, mawawar nyo na yung mga tao if that same scenario is developing or, you know, that's the first step. Pero yung pangalawa po, yung model, uh, unfortunately po right now, marikina pa lang yung meron. So, dinadagdag pa namin in soon yung dun sa 18 major river basins. Yung wala dun sa 18, yun po yung kailangan ilabas din. So, we're also working with uh, Pagasa. Para while that area is not within the 18 major river basins, we can still provide local uh, forecast. Um, mapapansin nyo po, um, merong portion na rainfall forecast, yung chance of rain. Uh, that is very high. Yung accuracy nyan po is very high for places where there is a sensor. We've been continuously validating yung result po nun. And I believe uh, as of last report, nasa 90% uh, accuracy na po siya. Meaning, pag sinabi niyang there's an 80% chance of rain, mataas na chance na magre-rain talaga. Magre-rain talaga yan. So, okay. so, yun po. Pero yung sa kung gano ka dami, yun po yung you know, it's a continuous improvement eh. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, sige, last two questions na lang la. Uh, good afternoon. I will just add to what the lady said. Meron din po kaming AWS uh, installed, I think, a year ago. And it generates series of data which we cannot understand. So, yun po ang tanong ko. Kahit marami tayong datos, kung hindi namin maiintindihan, kami po ang nagko-communicate sa tao, wala pong uh, function yun. And pangalawa, yung pong Project NOAA, mas na-appreciate namin kasi binibigan kami ng uh, parang radyo na nag, nag, ano, nagsasabi ng details na nangyayari. Very, very short time interval. We get an update on the weather. Pero ang sabi po nila, hindi pa daw available ang application sa lahat na media, um, gaya ng iPads and mukhang nasa Android pa lang. So, paano po ito magagamit ng ordinaring mamamayan? Thank you. Uh, uh, yung sensors po, is that's part of NOAA. So, yung training po, uh, we're doing that now with the yung yung sinabi nyo nga po through the NOAA so the sensors is one component yung tri it's all part of uh, an effort so including the training kung how do you interpret and so on so we're doing that as a as a group pangalawa po yung uh, application po no so available na po yung access sa NOAA sa Android so if you have a, an Android phone or smartphone, uh, you can access uh, wherever there's a signal. Yung sa iPad po, uh, Christmas gift po namin this Christmas. So, lalabas po namin this Christmas. <laughs> Hindi yung iPad. <laughs> yung, uh, yung application lang sa iPad. <laughs> lalabas po siya sa Christmas. Sige, Jun. So, this is our last question. Uh, good afternoon po sa lahat. I'm from... University of Southern Mindanao. Actually, uh, we're discussing this one dito sa table, ano? Eh, Siguro mas maganda if you're going yung if you're going to ano, uh, publish it yung process data na in a way that they can understand it easily rather than numbers. Kasi yung uh, yung sinesend ng text through that agreement station is numbers, right? Ngayon, how about i-process na lang in a way that uh, mas maiintindihan nila than after that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're doing both. Uh, depende kasi sa end user eh. Some, some ask for both. Some ask for the data. Kasi they're also, as was mentioned, yung data na yun, they're also using it for other things. Y yeah, but the thing uh, is... So uh, both we're, we're able to provide whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yun yung ano, but the thing is, yung iba kasi hindi nila naiintindihan. So... Yeah. Uh, mas maganda yung isa lang yung nag interpret isa lang yung nagpo-process in a way 
na yung integrity ng data is much better rather than kanya-kanyang interpretation. Di ba? Yeah, appreciate the point. But as I said, uh, we can provide both whatever the end user wants. Kasi some, some actually have meteorologists sa LGU. So they want the data. Uh, some don't. They just want the uh, warning. So, yun nga. So, depende. Kung anong gusto nyo, we can discuss. Sir, kahit sinabi mo one last question, I don't know, may tatanong pa rin ako. Sir, I am from Negros Oriental, Basay Negros Oriental. Itatanong ko lang po sana, sir, kung yung system ba nyo na NOAA makadetik pa rin ba yan ng tsunami after earthquake? After earthquake? Yeah. Kasi sa Negros, pro earthquake prone area kami. Pagkatapos namin na experience yung earthquake, takot na kami kung baka may susunod ba na tsunami right after the earthquake. Oh, oh po. Um, yung FIVOX po yung dun sa tsunami. So we're also working with FIVOX uh, para sa tsunami. Hindi pa po na-integrate sa NOAA. That is the parang uh, direction. So... One of these days, siguro pa may kita nyo, including yung tsunami. But right now, you can get that from FIBOX naman po eh. So it will all be integrated kasi this is supposed to be for uh, all types of hazards. Um, sir, uh, mag-add lang po ako dun sa sagot po ni Sir, po, sir Dennis. Um, about sa tsunami po kasi, meron po kaming separate system which is yung DRRM that region 4A, that dost.gov.ph, it is called uh, the ICT-based disaster uh, communication system. Naka-integrate po dun sa amin yung kapag meron pong earthquake. So ang nangyayari po sa amin, um, kinetext po kami from Feebox, and then yung pong sa amin, pinopropagate po namin yung data hanggang sa municipal level dun sa recipients namin. So yun po. Uh, so within within uh, 15 minutes during the occurrence of the earthquake, nag-start na po kami mag-disseminate. So ganun po yung, yung pong isang system namin. Um, tsunami po kasi there are two things that you need to understand. Um, yung tsunami can be uh, generated from a, an earthquake na close to you or from an earthquake na ma malayong-malayo like uh, in South America. Okay, so we need two systems for that. One is yung, kung galing sa malayo po, there's a system already in place to uh, forward yung warning. Like, uh, nung nangyari yung Japan na earthquake, there's a system in place uh, to be able to advise all countries that are potentially affected by a tsunami from that earthquake. And then, uh, yung national system na po yung nagdi-disseminate dun sa mga areas. Yung closer naman po, uh, like uh, kung nasa Philippine Trench, halimbawa, you only have the very short lead time kung magkaroon nga ng tsunami, like 20 minutes to maybe an hour, depende kung saan nanggaling, kung saan yung gumalaw. Um, for that po, um, it's very important na mabilis yung warning talaga. Cannot go through the usual channels na FIVOX and then Ganun po, ano? Um, in fact, ang ina-advise nga nila, uh, pagka mga ganong events, uh, parang yung residents are actually trained or advised to be able to um, decide on their own whether they should go uh, up already kasi yung ganong classing shaking might cause an, a tsunami. Uh, but we have actually a project now na may five sites po kami nilalagyan namin ng uh, light at warning warning post po siya. Uh, so, the system works na tinitrigger po siya ng FIVOX. So, whether malayo yung earthquake or malapit, trigger ng FIVOX and it will sound a siren para dun sa vicinity, ma-warn kayo na mag-evacuate po. So, uh, if that is effective, pwede pong yung hopefully uh, ma-expand ng FIVOX to more areas. Yung pilot areas I believe now is in Ragay Gulf. 
yung Manila Bay.